Now on to our second discussion, which is about the Tesla update. As of the end of quarter two, uh, we have converted approximately 75% of our Bitcoin purchases into fiat currency. Conversions in quarter two added $936 million of cash to our balance sheet. This is what electric car manufacturer Tesla shared in a shareholder letter of their quarter two update. Tesla chief uh, executive officer Elon Musk said on the earnings conference call that the company sold the Bitcoin to maximize its cash position because of uncertainty related to the COVID shutdowns. He noted that the sale should not be seen as some verdict on Bitcoin. But all of this is not as simple as it looks. Elon is also an influencer in Cryptoverse, Dogecoin, a meme coin most associated with Musk gets impacted every time he tweets on it. The internet calls it the Musk effect. While there were possibilities of him owning Twitter, Many expected that he would push Twitter to buy Bitcoin as a treasury asset as he did with Tesla. And on that note, even SpaceX has invested its cash reserves in Bitcoin. It's an American spacecraft manufacturer headquartered in California and founded in 2002 by Elon Musk. But now let's discuss this. As I said, it's not as simple as it looks because every move that Elon takes uh, has some effect or impact on the crypto world. So we have our experts. With us, Anike Jindal, co-founder by Economy, Rohas Nagpal, author of the Crypto Playbook and Chief Blockchain Architect, Hi-Fi Blockchain. Very warm welcome, gentlemen. Aniket, I want to start with you. Uh, do you think, after all, cash matters? Um, I mean, uh, a lot of people have been talking about Elon selling the billion dollar worth of Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. I don't know why this is sort of becoming like a big deal, like on a daily basis. If you look at it, like $100 billion worth of, you know, Bitcoin is traded, right? Like this is kind of nothing, 1% of it. Um, and along with Bitcoin, like Elon also sold his Tesla shares, right? And Q2, like uh, just to have like more positions in, in Twitter. So why people are not commenting on that? Does it mean like he's not, he doesn't believe in Tesla? Like that's why he sold it. I mean, I, I don't think so. It becomes like a big, bigger deal in the bigger market and in the broader spectrum. And investors nowadays are more sophisticated in terms of how they invest, like if Elon is buying XYZ, I don't think so. Of course, like there are few people who just listen to what he does, but uh, you know, like if investments are just made. So are you are you also of the opinion, Anike, that you know, as a lot of people point out, that since he tweets several cryptic things, so we, we should not really be taking every move or every tweet or every statement of his very seriously. No, of course, of course. I mean, like if, if this is how investors are made, probably like people would be only holding Dogecoin or some XYZ tokens. Like people should definitely use their own brains in terms of where the money is being invested and you know, like what's the intrinsic value of any particular hmm. coin. Uh, Rohas, uh, what is uh, your interpretation of this move? Sure. So there are two things I'd like to say. One is we don't know the price at which he has sold. So we don't know whether he has booked a profit or he is cutting his losses. And another thing I'd like to say, even if you look at the Bitcoin white paper, Bitcoin was always meant to be used as electronic cash. It was never supposed to be hoarded or invested as a store of value. And I think it is very important for people to realize that. So just like you're not going to lock up 100 rupee notes inside your drawer for 10 years, hmm. you're not supposed to lock up Bitcoin and expect the value to go up. It is to be used as a medium of exchange. <laughs> but Aniket, now a lot of experts have also been pointing out that, you know, uh, they have stated uh, all the lockdown stories or China lockdown being given as a reason and, and some experts point out that it's it's a mere cover up, but they are overall impacted by the global, uh, you know, ups and downs that crypto market is going through. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I mean, I think it's not only crypto, it's sort of related with everything happening in this industry. Like if you look at iron, steel, macro or any anything else like Netflix, etc. Okay. Everything has been sort of correlated to a certain extent. Uh, with crypto, definitely, I mean, not only like these, uh, you know, bad announcements, there's a lot of good developments also happening. I mean, Ethereum sort of announced its merge that's going to be happening in September. That was sort of pending for the last several years. So uh, on the development side of things, things have been fairly positive. And uh, if you if you see like, you know, that uh, the Ethereum community or the developer community, people mm -hmm. are like not moved by it. Like people don't care much about the prices, you know, people are in for the technology and uh, I'm pretty much sure in the next, uh, you know, several months, a lot of important uh, developments going to be happening in the ecosystem. Not sure much about the prices, like how it's going to react, but in terms of development, there's definitely like a lot, lot pending in the next several months. But Anikit, as you point out that, you know, it's not only with crypto, but other markets as well. And Tesla has also said, you know, they've had a tough second quarter. Uh, is, are, are warning bells ringing for crypto or let's say global economy? Because I also read some pieces which also talked about, you know, 
the upcoming recession. Of course, there's there's a lot of conversation around that as well. So, do you think there's there are warning bells for crypto or global economy? Uh, I mean, um, so crypto projects are uh, I mean, good projects are de decently well well funded right now. So. Uh, I don't see, of course, there'll be like downturn because things were overvalued uh, and still are. Hmm. Uh, but, you know, projects who are there for long term have decent cash flows, you know, like a decent revenues, decent uh, treasury also that can make them sustainable for the next several years. So I don't think so, you know, big projects will be that much moved by it. Of course, there'll be like, you know, uh, uh, downturn in terms of sure. you know, the price movements, but like it's nothing to worry about.